morning, Christina Green. We're just going to be uh, letting you kind of look at some of our memories over the last 25 years of Bethel Mall. It's amazing to think about it. I mentioned this morning at first service that we, that's a quarter of a century. That's a long time that we've been doing this. But what a blessing. We can see through the years just how much it means to people. Not just to us as Bethel Church, but to our community and to the families that we have served over the years. Many of those families when we started are now, they have their own families. They're bringing their children and uh, some of them are even, have been helpers for us at working the mall as volunteers. Um, that we have seen the absolute goodness that God has, has brought to this. And um, it is a treasured thing for all of us, I think. And probably as you look at these pictures, you think of moments and of people that uh, maybe aren't even with us any longer, but um, hold a special place in our, in our hearts and in our minds. Um, when it comes to Bethel Mall and what it represents. We want to celebrate the goodness that God has delivered to us through Bethel Mall for this 25th year and just how people have fallen into place over the years and um, offering their times, their gifts, and their abilities. And maybe for some, even stretching a little bit what they thought they could do. <laughs> For example, I don't like feet, but yet God had called me one day. There was a little lack of help in the boys' shoe department, and I said, okay, <laughs> I'm going in. I held my nose and jumped right in, and do you know, he gave me the biggest blessing from that moment. I had helped a few little people, and then I look up, and there's this teenage boy, probably freshman, sophomore had on a pair of cowboy boots and I had him sit down and I said okay we're gonna pick out a couple pairs of shoes here and have you try them on and he looked at me and he said oh ma'am I'm so sorry he said I don't have socks on under these and I thought okay <laughs> all right Lord here's my test so we pulled his boots off I wiped his feet down with some uh, wipes that we had back there got him a new pair of socks and an awesome pair of shoes and he looked at me and he said do you know these are my first very own pair of shoes I've always gotten hand-me-downs from my brothers that caught me and I knew that God had put me there for that reason at that moment I think of so many things I think of little Kayla Mercer Seibert and of Ty and Luke Jones and Isaac Whitehead and Morgan and so many other little ones that would spend the whole entire week before the mall putting stickers on crayon boxes or building Kleenex towers. I think of Joyce Hess sitting for hours untangling wire hangers. I think of people like Lenore Whitehead and Sue Colbert and Pat Thompson who would spend the week before taking labels off of shoes and tying them together and putting them in the proper spots um, for try-ons that weekend. I think of the men and women who would build and construct our changing rooms. In fact, I think there's a picture up there of John Clark doing such a thing. I think of the prayer tent. I think of the pig barn. And the morning that the first time we had ever gotten a thunderstorm on Mall Day at the pig barn. And I remember Billy Whitehead and Don Ryan grabbing the pig panels and they were herding our shoppers back into line once they got inside the building. <laughs> I think of the Jims and the Johns who cleaned the Johns all day long. I think of Jerry Barber and Sons as they would come and set up the sound system at the 4-H rounds. And I remember the meeting that we had when Wayne Bachelor said, you know, I wonder if we could use like a little name tag or a lanyard that would help us with the shoppers. And then we're still using those today. 
I think of Bev Armstrong, the lady who does not like to shop, in her little blue VW Beetle with shoe boxes stacked to the ceiling. And I always teased her that I was going to get her a license plate that said BOGO Queen. I want to celebrate the moments where we saw firsthand this, the excitement of the kids as they tried on a new outfit and caught a first glimpse of themselves in the mirror. I think of that special first little girl that Mint Barber grabbed the hand of one year and discovered that her favorite color was pink. Look what Mint is wearing today. The earliest little girl that could have come through that line and got the perfect personal shopper. I think of Terry Jones and his deconstruction crew coming in at the end of the day. Oh, what a blessing. Am I, can I get an amen? Yes. When we were spent, that crew would come in of fresh blood and they would get to going and tear that place down and move it back here to the church in willickety split time. And that was such a God, God gift right there. I think of Isaac trying on shoes with the little boys and racing them to see just how fast those new tennis shoes could make them run. I recall the awe on the faces of the kids when they would get the first glimpse of the backpack rack and discovering that they got to pick any one that they desired. It was their choice. I remember outfits fitting perfectly and how the kids would get to walk around and fill those backpacks up to the hills with the things that they needed to start their year off, just like all the other kids. How important that was for them. I have paper pictures in my mind of Lenora and Karen and Jackie working in their spots every year, blessing those kids, and of Ruth Kelly, who would be the last one to wish them well and to tell them that Jesus loved them. There's probably a lot of things that run through your mind when you see these pictures, a lot of memories that pop up, and things like that. And that's why we want to just really take this year to celebrate the goodness that God has given us through Bethel Mall. Back in the back, you're going to find a couple of sign-ups. There's one uh, that looks like this. You can see it. It's a volunteer sign-up down the the left side of the panel on it has places that we need your help. So if you, when you get back there, if you would just look through that, write your name down, and where you would like to um, help us next, this coming month, it's going to be here before we know it. Then also we're going to be having special t-shirts made that commemorate our 25th anniversary. And there's a sign-up sheet for those back there as well. It is not a fundraiser. We're just getting those for, for the year. Um, they will be just at cost what we're going to be charged uh, through the folks that are making those at end zone. So um, if you'd like to do those, they'll be available for the week before the mall, and you can just pick them up and pay for them at that time. Um, I just... Um, can't ever fail to think of the times that we got so nervous that we weren't going to have enough. But God, I can't help but think of the times, the, the weekends that we got there and we weren't sure we were going to have enough people to help. But God. And then I think of the years that we weren't sure we were not going to have enough to move forward to another year but God. And he has given us everything we needed and more than what we knew we needed. The lotus and the fishes is what we've always called it. But we're going to celebrate, contemplate, remember, and in the meantime, I would just ask that you all kind of keep each other in your prayers. Um, but most especially that you begin to pray for the families that would be coming to shop with us. Um, there are a lot of things as we see each year in our prayer tent. We make our little prayer chain. Thanks to Jamie and her crew out there. Um, a lot of those people probably never have the chance to ask someone for prayer. They don't know where to go with that. 
Maybe they don't know how to pray. So it's always such a lovely thing that not just the kids, but the families can come in and put in prayer requests. And some of those that we read each year are overwhelming sometimes, the needs that they have. Um, so just go ahead and, and be praying for those families because we know there's a lot of things that will cause them to need us and a lot of things that um, they're coming with heavy baggage and be starting the school year out that way too. So if you would just um, help us to pray for those things and and also just contemplate where you would like to, to be on that day to help Bethel Mall. Thank you for your ears. God bless. <laughs>